Hey, what's up YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. It's Christine with Gage Girl Training, an online meal planning and coaching service. In today's video, we are going to answer the question, is HIT good for endomorphs? So let's get started. So as you guys know, exercise is an important part of any balanced nutrition and training program, and especially for the endomorph body type. Now, the endomorph body type has a tendency to struggle to lose weight the most out of all three of the body types. Now, as a result of this, you guys, cardio is going to be something that is extremely important. And there's two main types of cardio. There is steady state cardio, which is where you do not change the intensity of the nature of the exercise throughout the duration of it where your heart rate is held at a steady target heart rate and HIT cardio which is an acronym which stands for high intensity interval training which is where you have periods of higher intensity intervals at your maximum or at the highest level of your target heart rate that would be for maximum athletic performance training for short intervals of time followed by recovery intervals and then going back and forth between the two. Now, when it comes to a calories in calories out perspective, HIIT cardio can help you burn more calories in a shorter period of time. But the question is, is HIIT good for endomorphs? So in general, I did a YouTube video about two weeks ago answering the question, how much cardio should you do for your body type? And my recommendation for the endomorph was to do daily fasted cardio, six to seven times a week, yes. No one wants to hear that, but this is to maximize fat loss for the fastest rate possible. So I'm recommending cardio between five and seven days a week in the fasted state and doing up to three HIT cardio sessions post-workout. Now, here's the thing. HIT is good for endomorphs, but you can't just do HIT by itself, and here is why. If you're going to do HIT as an endomorph, you have to time it after a weight training session. And the reason I recommend that is because during the weight training session, this is where you want to utilize the fact that your muscles still have glycogen in them. That glycogen is going to help you push through the resistance training and deplete that. Once that glycogen is depleted, your body is able to switch to a fat burning mode. So that way, by the time you are done with your weights and you are into the cardio session, that cardio session can count as pure fat loss as opposed to having to burn through glycogen in the first 15, 20 minutes where from a fat loss perspective, it doesn't really count. And I know no one wants to hear that, but HIT is great to exercise your heart. HIT is fantastic way to burn calories in a short period of time, but you should not do it isolated by itself because if you're not doing it at the tail end of a weight training session, you are not getting the the maximum benefit of fat loss on your body it would almost be better for you to do a steady state session as opposed to a hit session because if you were just going to do a steady state cardio session after a weight training versus hit yes that hit is going to be more intense and burn more calories in a shorter period of time the steady state even though is going to allow you to burn fat for a longer duration which is what you really want to be tapping into and worried about as an endomorph so here's the thing you guys in hit a person will alternate between high periods of very intense and rest you guys these endomorph bodies can do two to three sessions a week it is helpful but you guys just make sure you don't just do it by itself because it's not going to be good enough now if you were a mesomorph if you were an even an ectomorph that would be perfectly fine but as an endomorph it's just not going to be enough so i hope this was helpful comment below if you have any questions need any clarification and i will see you guys in the next one